Hello everyone. It's the 18th of November 2023. And I've just arrived home this afternoon after a morning out in the field checking traps and emptying them of rats and mice. So the first property I got one mouse from the traps. Uh, next property, one big rat. Um, the next property, one small rat. Uh, the next property, one medium sized rat. The next property, three mice. That was never a rat problem. Um, that was always just a mouse problem. So, three mice today, sir. So. Yeah, morning's work. And I did some exclusion work at one place. There was a rat going in through a hole in the wall of a shed. So I just stapled some wire mesh. Uh, what we call hardware cloth. Galvanized wire mesh. So I stapled a square of that over the holes in the wall. Where the rat had definitely been gaining entry. And uh, yeah, typical winter mornings rat recovery one of these is that's the gas station trap so that gas station trap in the blackberry has caught and killed at least six rats in the past week and virtually one every night and i'm onto a family of these little guys now in the trailer so we caught three adults there and since then we've caught three of these little ones, at least three of them I think, let's see how many, yeah three of the little ones, so we may get as many as nine more of these little ones, but typically I get about six or seven when I get on to a, a family of little rats. Okay, so that's not a bad morning's work. Got to go out tomorrow, Sunday, and check them all again and uh, keep on top of them but in about a month from now the the whole process will slow down there won't be so many rats around they'll either be inside somewhere where they can survive, survive the winter or they will have been killed outside from the cold mainly from the cold so the last couple of months have been the busiest every year middle of september through till about middle of november and uh, if they haven't found a way inside by then, they're usually dead from the cold or caught in one of my traps or someone's trap. Yeah, so I've got to do my trap daily trap tweaking today and feed all these to my ravens and then get ready for tomorrow's check. So thanks for watching. Thanks for liking. Thanks for subscribing. And thanks for buying a copy of the Rat Trapper's Handbook, available only from Amazon. Buy a copy of the book, you support me, my channel, and my rat trapping work. And I'm always experimenting, innovating, changing things around on my trap to get an extra, try and get the extra bit of performance out of them. So initially, when I started fitting bait cups onto my traps, I found the best way was to fit the metal bait cup onto the trap and then snip slits in it so you can peel it back like that um, so they've got enough room to get in to the bait and they're still bullet vision but recently with a bit more experimentation so I've had traps like this for about a year I have now finding same can forget the slits just make it bigger so make it higher at the front like that and you can see the whole vision out the back is totally blocked they've got much easier access to get in there if you use the whole can like this and uh, it's a better a whole better better uh, process all around so I'm glad because these actually give you a noticeably better catch rate than these split ones 
having said that I used them without any bait cups for six years and I used to always catch all the rats I wanted to catch but overall it would have taken a bit more time and a bit more effort now if I fit one of these to each trap which takes about four minutes um, and then I save all that extra time and effort which over a few years mounts up to quite a bit so that's the latest innovation is to instead of cut the bait cup like that you put it on like that and it works like a hot dam okay see you in the next video bye